The U.S. Army is looking to speed up its weapons and development acquisition process. That's according to the U.S. Army Chief of Staff, General Randy George. He's a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. In his first ever TV interview, General George told me he's looking to shift the Army's buying models in a bid to make sure equipment isn't outdated by the time it gets into the hands of U.S. troops. The vision would overhaul how business in the Pentagon is typically done. A recent Army report says it can take on average two years of approvals and funding requirements just to get weapons out the door. Things are going to change. I think we're seeing that um, three weeks, three months, you know, definitely inside of a year or two years. We can't say, hey, we're going to buy something and it's going to be ready two years from now because we know the technology is going to advance beyond that. General George is focused on buying cutting-edge weapons. Think drones and electronic warfare systems in smaller batches instead of long-term purchase orders. This more flexible process is being piloted as part of an Army initiative called Transforming in Contact. It looks to flood select brigades with the equipment and fast. The Army is letting private sector engineers work alongside soldiers to get real-time feedback on the product so they can then adjust from there. As long as we're buying things that are modular open system architecture, we can continue to update in our formations and that's what we need to be able to do. How do you make this economically viable for those companies that are already competing in the commercial marketplace that often moves a lot faster? I think what we're doing is uh, doing, trying to do a better job of explaining what we need and rather than have uh, hundreds of pages of requirements to try to define what it is, um, we're working with industry and putting out a characterization of needs and we've done that a couple of times where we've kind of described the problem that we're trying to solve and what we found is is that industry can come back very quickly and we've been surprised by the solutions that we're providing. It's creating access for more non-traditional contractors to compete in a defense industrial base that's estimated to have shrunk 40 percent in the last decade. It's mostly due to consolidation by some of the biggest defense contractors. Joan Kelly, the Army has worked with about two dozen companies as part of this initiative. That includes names like Palantir and Elon Musk's SpaceX.